Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Buddy over here. Welcome back to Video File Freak. We're going to do another projector video. This one is actually pretty unique. This one is a small, small projector. But it's not just a projector. This is actually a camcorder projector. So it is a camera with a built-in projector. Here, let me show you guys the box. This thing is actually pretty sweet. I've had this for years and years and years, but I never used it, but I wanted to make a review about it. This is what I'm using right now. This is the 3M camcorder projector shoot and share. Now, if you guys want more about this uh, cam, uh, camcorder slash projector, just look up some videos on YouTube. This thing is actually pretty damn sweet. It is a camcorder with a built-in projector. So that means you shoot what you want, make a video, and then you project it on the wall like I am right here. Um, so this projector is actually pretty sweet. You can use it as a normal projector like I'm going to show you guys right now. Or you guys could video, take pictures, and then there's a button on the camcorder that has a projector. Projector icon. So you click on that and then it projects on the wall. Now this is pretty good for a lot of reasons. Number one, if you're out and about and just imagine, just, just think about it, that you don't have your laptop with you, for an example. Well, this actually has a built-in projector, so you don't need a laptop or you don't need an HDMI to hook up to your TV to see some videos or photos that you've taken with this camcorder. So you just go through, go through your pictures and photos, you, pre you press the projector button, and then it projects it right on the wall. But... I'm, I did use this product on one video, and then that video was the LG PH150B uh, projector review and unboxing. So this is this this projector and camcorder was the projector was the camcorder that I used to make that video. But I just want to show you guys the projector part because I think that this thing is pretty damn sweet. So. You can actually plug in anything from a DVD player to a game console to a satellite dish or cable uh, box, anything into it. And then it gives you two options when you plug it in, earphone or AV in. Um, I have my DVD player hooked up to it, so it detects that I want to use it as an AV input. So it says AV in, and then I press OK, and then everything is projected. So this is pretty cool when you just have a camcorder when you have a camcorder with a built-in projector but you want to play games outside or in a dorm room or whatever and you don't really have a TV at the moment or you want to you know play it on a bigger bigger screen this is definitely this is definitely 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 something to buy. So let me close out the blinds and show you guys it's full potential there you go it's not that bright it's about 15 lumens so don't expect much to come out of this come out of this projector but I think it is pretty sweet so I have my DVD player hooked up to it via AV cable so it is the yellow white and red connected to a mini jack again you can use that mini jack for an AV in or earphones now the resolution on this projector, oh, and this camcorder occurs shoot in 720p, 720p only. This is back in 2011. Um, with this projected image, it's only 800 by 600 resolution. So this is the same resolution as my Sony VPL CS6. Just to let you guys know, four by three aspect ratio, same resolution. So. Like I said, I have my DVD player hooked up to it via the AV input. So it shows earphones and AV. AV is actually selected. So all I gotta do is press OK on it. Shows no signal at the moment. This is pretty off. I don't even have it hooked up. Hold on a second, you guys. Hold on. And then there we go. Not the best picture quality, but 
I mean, it is AV, so just bear that in mind. But you do have projected image, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you don't have a projector, but you have a camcorder, but if you have a device that has two, two mashed up together, this is actually pretty sweet. Now, this guy actually has a speaker input. I mean, uh, this thing, this product actually has a speaker in it. So, let me hook up the speakers. Let me hook up the AV cable into it. So, this thing actually has speaker, a speaker built in it. So, oh, as you guys can tell, this is not the best, but I'm going to pop in Snow Dogs to show you guys how it works. But you guys can easily see how it works. So, just put this guy in. It has a volume up or down. You guys could. It's not the best. I'm just letting you guys know this should not be your primary projector, but if you have this in your pocket, why the hell not? And it has sound too, which is pretty fuzzy. Oh, there it goes. I mean, you can't get any better than that for the price. But here's, here's one thing that I want to show you guys. When you... Oh, God damn it. Eject. Thank you. So that's one thing that you can use with this. But if you take the cable out of it, it goes to this menu. Now, this menu is where you will actually find all... Your photos and videos. So I think I made a video with this projector. Oh, oh, there we go. So I did made a test video on this camcorder slash projector. Um, it's only 22 seconds, so bear that in mind, but let's check it out. And I think I recorded this in 720p. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this was long as time ago, so... Let's reset that. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, this was a long time ago. Oh, seemed like that was about it because I was bored one day and I just wanted to record a video. Uh, so let me show you guys what the product actually looks like. So let me open up the blinds. And this is what the product actually looks like. Bam. There you go. That's it. So let me turn this off and let you see it. Powering off. It gets hot because of the projector. So it's like one of those projectors that get super hot. Take this off the tripod and uh, that is it. This is it. It's a camcorder with a projector built into it. So here it is. Looks pretty cool. It works. Um, 720p, that's its max resolution. And um, there's your display. That's your viewfinder. And then you have a bunch of buttons over here. You can't really see it, but there's a picture button, record button, and the middle one is the projector button. And then you have your directional pad. So if I turn this on again, I think it still has juice. Nope, it don't have juice. I had a I had to keep it plugged in so I could do this review. But yeah, it's a little device. So there's your projector lens over here. This is where you plug in your AV or headphone 
Jack. I'm gonna focus. Doesn't want to focus. Come on, man. We're doing so good. Okay, there we go. So there's your AV and headphones. So you plug the AV cable into here, and then it's gonna ask you, are you gonna use that as a headphones or AV? So you can actually put an input in there. There is your USB to charge the device. There's your USB to charge it. And there is your mini HDMI to plug it into the TV if you don't want to use the projector part or if the projector lamp is dead. There's your projector lens, your focus dial, pretty sleek. And then over here, oh, nope, this way. There's your power switch, your infrared. I think this actually came with a uh, remote control, but it did not tell us that it came with a remote control. I think that's third party. And then this is your micro SD card. So the micro SD card goes in there. And then on this side, this is where the camera lives. So there is your, um, I think it's five megapixels, your flash. There you go, there's a little, uh, they put the high resolution for the video on the case itself, 1280 by 720. So, yeah. So there you go. 1280 by 720, that's the only max resolution that this thing can actually um, record. There's your tripod, your speaker, there's only one. So there's your speaker, and that is your microphone. And then all the gubbins on it. So there you go. That is the 3M Shoot and Share. Do I recommend it? Yes. Um, Again, the resolution, 800 by 600 resolution, so it's not HD, but it will get you by if you want to play games outside or watch a movie outside if this is the only projector that you have on you. Uh, Video-wise, shooting, uh, shooting video, it is fantastic. Uh, go back to watch my LG PH150B projector review and demo. I use this to record that video. And um, what else? The video quality, 800 by 600 resolution. So it's the same thing as my Sony VPL CS6. Um, Runtime is pretty good. Uh, 100, I think it's 100 minutes of projecting time. So it'll get you by if you're just going to connect a DVD player into it to watch a movie or view videos and view photos on the projecting uh, part. And I think it's 150 minutes of recording time. So 100 minutes of projecting when it's fully charged and 150 minutes of recording when it's fully charged. So that is pretty good numbers for something that was made in 2011. All right, guys, so that is it. That is my review. Please leave a like, please subscribe, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, now I got to clean up my mess and put it away because, uh, yeah, my whole room is a uh, hell of a mess. But this little projector, for the video freak standpoint, I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up for its durability and it's great picture quality would i match this up with the mirari m40 micro projector um honestly i'd rather have the m40 uh pico projector than this but if this is the only thing that you have in your pocket then um why the hell not um i will do a projector shootout with this and the m40 i think that'll be a really really I think it'll be a really, really cool video, to be honest, um, to do a shootout between this and the M40 projector that I did a review, well, re-reviewed on it, and I had a lot of feedback, great feedback on the projector. 
But um, I think that's about it. So please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.